Hey guys, this is Ashley Kang of Horizon Esports, and I'm joined by Perks of G2 after they walk out of the match against Team Liquid in the day four of 2020 World Championship group stage. How are you doing? Um, been better. <laughs> I've been better, yeah. Uh, losing to TL sucks, honestly. I think they're not that good, so losing to them sucks, yeah. Okay, um, so. Yeah, it was obviously a tough defeat for G2 in many different ways. Um, I'll start with the drops. It looked like Team Liquid obviously picked for the late gank, you know, team fight comp, while G2 was aiming for more like a snowball early aggression in the top lane. Um, how are you feeling when you just finished the drop phase? Uh, I felt our drop was fine. It's uh, something we had practiced, but level one had gone terribly wrong. So jungler is behind for the rest of the game. Because that's how the game works right now. If you fall behind level one, it's really hard to come back. And then even then, like we are fine in the game, and then we go mid, like to make a play on set, and we overcommit really hard, and then we like die to people, I think, and lose all sums again. So once again, we have no summoners. When we lost in level one, and we gain them again in minute six, we instantly lose summoners. So we are just playing with no summoners for like ten minutes in a row. Uh, so it feels really unplayable. And the only way we could do something was if I just give up both farm and just go sub or herald so honestly it was like a disaster a disaster of a game for me like i yeah it was really hard because my follow-up question was actually going to be how big of an impact did that level one death make to the game result do you think that was huge or was it also due to its execution for the rest of the game if i mean yeah it? i think i think yeah the level one is probably like 80 percent of the game uh, and then the mid play is the next 20%. Like after that, honestly, I felt like we were like lucky enough to get like the peaks we did, like the Asher mid with Alistair Q flash and uh, some other good fights. I feel like it, it should not even be close this game. I think we should just get stomped. So I'm happy with how we played from behind, but it's kind of sad to get to the state of the game, which we are in, I guess. And well, well played to TL because they did better prep, they had better draft considered like i think we had good draft in the meta but they had we had a worse draft when playing against steel i feel like we gave them a bit of like too many comfort champs which they're like brox literally only plays graves right now and he's got it for free so uh and like some other stuff like that like basically yeah so i feel like we kind of misprepared for them and they did well yeah because broxa also really played well and jensen was obviously like you said um got his comfort check or Rihanna. But how broken was Core JJ? Because yesterday Mickey X also told me that he's looking forward to playing against Team Liquid bot lane most. And Core JJ was not only impacting the lane phase, but he was really, really pressurizing the map with his set support pick. Yeah, I think Core JJ played pretty well, uh, for sure. Um, yeah, he played well. It's good for it's, it's, it's good for TL. <laughs> Like, I was looking at the match score for the teams in Group A, and it looks more competitive than ever because Suning, team like G2, both are on 2 1, and now Team Liquid is catching up close behind. Uh, what, where, how do you think the team would prepare and be in the mental stage as you head into the second round of the group stage? Um, I mean, I think if we just do a late game draft against Steel, uh, we'll probably win. Uh, we should probably just match them in their style and just win in that, because that's literally how they win the games. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, winning against them and Manchi should get us our groups and then winning and Sunning will be like a plus. I think all three teams are beatable. So I think it's just find the right draft for each specific team is important. And we kind of got a bit cocky where we just like decided to just ban their top laners out and it had like honestly no purpose in draft whatsoever uh they just picked the fourth best top or whatever right they're their best not the best in the meta so it was like yeah honestly it's a bit xd oh no <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you are putting a heavy emphasis on draft would you say that's the biggest thing that you two will be looking into as you head into the second stage and level one Draft and, level and, and level one, yeah, and level one. I think yeah. those two things decide the game uh, very big 
very very big percentage of the game is decided uh, from that from those two points. Yeah. So that is the most important thing in the game right now. Yeah. And I have to ask this: um, What do you think about the G two's performance? Because in the first day, um, many people were saying that hey, G two is still warming up to the stage. In the second day, um, oh, G two has stepped up much more. Um, do you think that G two is continuing to ramp up in their performance as they adjust to the stage games? And we might even see more of that in the second round of group stage, if I may ask. Uh, well, I think we usually are better when we get like adjusted to the stage and adjust to the teams we are playing against. So I feel like we should perform better the next day, like in two days, when we play against like uh, the same teams again. And uh, I have like very high hopes for us for making out of the groups as a first seed team as well. Uh, just yeah, today was honestly just really unlucky. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was just really unlucky today, right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's fine. <laughs> One more question. Um, I know that like the second round of group stage is always tough at Worlds uh, because you have to face three different teams in a single day, and you're obviously an expert on this. Like, what kind of preparations or like mental adjustments do teams usually make when they try to go into the second round? Um, I mean, I think it's a lot more. I guess if this if it's close, it's a lot more like clutch. Like whoever has like. The best mental performance will uh, make it out, and if it's uh, yeah, usually like last year we had like a pretty easy second day, I think. I mean, we lost to Griffin again uh, twice, but uh, it was like the other two teams were maybe they were worse than they are last year, and then they are this year. I think like last year group, right? So maybe this year is gonna be a bit harder, but it should be. Like, I don't think our group is like as stacked as like, let's say group C where I don't really know who's going to make it out like of that group. I feel like all those games are pretty like competitive and um, yeah, honestly, I feel like it shouldn't be that hard for us to make it out, oh. but we will just prepare really good for each team specifically. And then once a good preparation, good mindset going into games, that's where you make it out. And yeah, we should not underestimate our opponents because they're not bad at all. But compared to other groups, it should be easier for us to make it out than, let's say, for Rogue or something. Yeah, It's really comforting to hear that you are very optimistic about getting out of the group in the first place, as well as knowing what you have to do in order to get there. If you have to put it into percentage, what would I get? The chance of G2 making it out of Group A? 95% oh. in G2 make it out of Group A. 60% make it out of first place. Okay, um, I'll really look forward yeah. to it. Um, what do you plan to do when you get back to the team house? <laughs> well, hotel. The gaming team house? house? Uh, team house, oh, the, hotel, the hotel? hotel, yeah. Oh, today, today I will probably... Well, today we have no screams after, mm -hmm. so I will relax. Maybe I will go to gym and work out a bit, and then maybe I'll watch, I'll re watch our game after I'm cooled off. Because uh, right now I'm uh, very furious that I lost, Aww. so I have to let out that uh, frustration in the gym. And then <laughs> after that, I'll be mentally back, and then I can uh, rewatch our games like uh, without emotions, and then I can see what actually went wrong, and if it's the draft and the level one. So I'll get to the conclusion. Right now, I'm just speaking out of emotions, and in a few hours, I'll get the conclusion what actually went wrong. So it's usually the process when you lose, yeah. So I'll just relax a bit first. Like, that seems like the huge strength of G2. Even when they lose games or come down a slump on now and then, they can review their own game in a very clear mental state and come back by, you know, getting feedbacks from their losses really quicker. I always saw that as a strength of G2. Would you agree? Um, yeah, I do think so, I guess. We do lose, like, in the dumbest ways possible, uh, I feel like. So... Uh, yeah, it is pretty good for us when we fix our mistakes because they're not that hard to fix, I feel like. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it is uh, it's, it is one of our strengths, it is, yeah. And best of luck for today as well as preparing for the second round of group stage. Um, do you have any words to the fans who would have tuned into Team Liquid versus G2, EU versus NA? Really appreciate it. Um, well, yeah, we uh, we are sorry to Europe that we lost, uh, but we will make it out in return. So, sorry guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for this interview. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Perks. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.